Okay. Our partner thinks that she's a good hire. And you weren't at that meeting. I was at the casino covering your ass. Well, I wasn't exactly on vacation. Well, I know that. I know that. I was under a great deal of pressure. Well, but you made a huge unilateral decision. Wendy, um, did you, why did you feel so hesitant to hiring um, Maya? Maya, yeah. 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 It's not about her person, uh, about her resume, isn't it? It's like, it's personal for you. No, no. I just think, I just think, it's a huge risk to put somebody with such radically different viewpoint from ours in a position of power in our life. Look, I understand. I understand that you are under a great deal of pressure, and I'm so sorry. I went. I'm so sorry that you went through all that, but. Maya isn't a solution to any of her problems. Fine. Our partner thinks that she is. Well, I disagree. Good. 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 Communication. Can we access some feeling words? I'm scared. I'm fucking terrified, actually. Well, those are strong feelings, yes. Let me tell you why you're scared, Wendy. You don't believe in your husband. Yet I have kept us safe, safe? this entire... It's like you're somehow incapable of listening to me. You think we're safe? Yeah, I do think we're safe. Ha! <laughs> Wanna help us out here, Sue? That would be great. Can you tell her that everything I do is for the family? Can you tell him that that is complete bullshit? <laughs> well, I think you guys are doing a terrific job talking this out here. Really? Because I think we're going in circles, so please weigh in. Gotta have something to say. Well, actually I do. What does it say about a marriage when both the husband and the wife are trying to bribe their therapist? Yeah. You're both paying me off. I said it. What is fucking wrong with you? What's fucking wrong with you? You did the same goddamn thing Once. I did. You're a fucking beauty. Once, once because you, I was so worried when you came back with that crazy idea and, and I wanted Sue to do a better job. Um, you're not actually making this easy for anybody here. Shut the fuck up, Sue. Are you doing this the entire time? Are you that insecure? No, I'm that ignored, Wendy. You want to know why I'm bribing this woman? It's because you're completely incapable of listening. First, you force us to stay here. Second, you dig us in so deep we're never going to get out. And now I discover that you've been on the phone every night to Navarro, pouring your fucking heart out, interpreting his fucking omens? What is wrong with you? Do you get how dangerous that is? You are listening to my calls. You wanna know what happened to the maid that lost her teeth? You're jealous. You killed her. You're jealous. That's what this is about. You can't keep up with me. Give me a fucking break. That, no, you can't keep up with me. And that's what this is about. And I have a sliver of success. And you, you lose your fucking mind. Success? Chopping the balls off a horse. Is that success? Jason, no. Exactly. Your ambition makes you reckless. My you go into business with a fucking drug lord. What do you think was going to happen? My ambition? Yeah. You are so arrogant that you think that you can flip an FBI agent. Do you know how crazy that sounds? Is it crazier than killing somebody? Hmm? Julia. I didn't know. I didn't kill him. No. You had somebody else do it for you. For our family. And I stayed with you. Wow. Doesn't make you a big fucking hero. I did what I did because you didn't have the fucking balls to do it yourself. No, I was busy trying to get us the fuck out. They would have found us. No, they wouldn't. If they would have killed us if you'd got your way. You'd say anything to justify what you did. I don't know how you live with yourself. You're an ungrateful freak. You did exactly what you wanted to do and you always have, haven't you? That's not true. Gary? Navarro, another casino, a horse farm. You put everything before the family. I'm trying. I'm trying to build a future for our family out of the mess that you created. And you are too narrow-minded and jealous to see it. Right. Yeah, and you're just a scary, selfish, fucking power-hungry fucking bitch. Right. Great. Do it. Leave. I don't need you. I don't even fucking know you anymore.
the fuck, Sue? Double dipping? 